Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Speaking of trying things new, uh, which you guys watched, I think, a few videos back, um, we ended up buying some original bankrolls of 1963D Franklin Half Dollars. Um, a lot of these have cool end of roll toning. Um, so the cool story about these is that these coins were uh, pulled out from a safe um, from one of our dealers. He said he had them in there for 15 years. And so I gathered a lot of information from that. Um, and I also know that just because that they're in these rolls, they carry an extreme premium. So there's a whole lot of details and information I wanna share with you guys on what to look out for, uh, what's interesting, um, and why these coins carry such a big premium uh, in these sleeves, um, and how this can make you guys some money if you ever go to a coin show and find something like this. So let me take these six rolls up to the light box show you guys them individually, and uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, just made it up to the light box, and uh, I am pretty excited to show you guys this, this find at the show. Uh, we talked a little bit about things that we don't normally see, um, things that we don't normally take risks on. Um, and so this is kind of something for me, and it actually ended up paying off pretty well. But let me sh start to jump in with you guys and show you guys exactly what we found, uh, roll by roll, and give you guys some tips about buying these. So um, this is uh, a 1963D roll. Um, the unique part about these these coins is that um, when we were talking to the dealer, like we were talking about downstairs. Um, he had this in his safe for over 15 years and then he brought them out and so there's a few things uh, that caught my eye and a few things I gathered from that one in 2005 or 2006 uh, when he put these in his in his safe um, Franklin and half dollars weren't popular then and so that's kind of something from that was an indicator for me um, if it wasn't popular at the time that means nobody was searching for really nice coins that means the, the chance of these being original are pretty high. And uh, the cool thing about the dealer is that he's very forthcoming. Um, I actually ended up buying a coin from his table once that was raw and it ended up going mint state 67. And that coin ended up going for $1,450 at auction. So um, the guy isn't much of a grader, but he is honest and uh, he's true with his intentions. Um, but you're about to see some pretty cool coins. And unfortunately, in this video, we're not going to open them um, just because if we do open them and nothing is in these that are worth our time, we'll actually lose money um, on these coins. And uh, and the, the main premium in these coins is because it, they are in this original wrap. They haven't been searched. Um, so when uh, I actually do sell these, which I actually have sold all these already, um, someone's going to buy these. Uh, someone bought these and they, they're going to look through themselves and they're going to either find something really nice or find something not so nice and lose some money. But for me, I'm not much of a risk taker at this time with these. I'm just new to them. And so, uh, but I'm going to give you guys some practical tips, like I said, and uh, we're going to break these down and tell you guys exactly what we paid and also uh, what we sold these for. So uh, let me sit this down and show you guys the next roll. Up next, this one's kind of the coolest one. It has this nice end of roll on both sides. Um, and you can kind of see the originality of the coin. And what kind of sucks about this side is it has like these uh, dark spots to it. Um, but on the other side, uh, you know, it's still pretty nice and intact. And I think this coin's at least a 64 or 5 right here. And so the unique part about these and why these sold so quickly as well is that the 1963D or P are really hard for um, like when, when the coins were there when they were made uh, when they when they minted them and stamped them um, the full bow lines were pretty hard to achieve um, and to get just based on the poor dies um, so um, if you find a 65 or 66 uh, full bell line 63d in any of these uh, you're talking about uh, a lot of money and so once again I didn't want to lose a lot of money on these um, but I wanted to take a risk and do something cool and these were pretty neat and so I'm so glad I could show you guys um, and hopefully you guys can make some money finding some rolls like this so let's continue 
Up next, we have another roll like it. Um, you can start to see the end of roll toning on this one as well. Um, and if we lifted up this paper, you'd probably find no toning, which is pretty cool as well. Um, that's kind of where those end of roll, uh, uh, what, what they kind of look like. Um, you know, you start to see kind of the paper folds on a coin, um, or you kind of start to see a little bit of like a, a halo around the coin. Um, and the thing to look out for is that uh, on this coin is that there's these these rolls were pretty heavily worn. Um, another dealer said, uh, make sure one side is sealed, and there's normally a piece of cardboard here, and then one side is not sealed. And so, because when people are trying to reproduce uh, rolls, um, what they would do is they roll up on both sides, and they'd say original roll, uh, you know, just found at a bank or something on eBay. Um, but most of the time, what happened was um, these came pre-rolled on one side, like normal ones do. You slide them on in, and then you would roll them up. And back then, it would just be like, okay, I got to roll the paper up myself, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and then they're gonna be ready. And I I didn't put too much thought into it. These are new coins, nothing too interesting about them. And uh, but with people trying to fake them, what they're gonna do is make both sides really really hard, like they look like they're they haven't been tampered with. And so what I would say to you guys is, one side's gonna be really strong, and then one side's gonna be like. Okay, yeah, I, I, I rolled it up. I worked at a bank, um, and now I'm gonna put it back in the box with the rest. Um, and so I, I, and what I would say to you guys also is I would ask a bunch of dealers a lot of questions like, "Oh, when did you come across these? Um, you know, uh, what do you think about these?" Um, and then I actually asked a few other dealers, and I said, "Hey, uh, these look original to you," and they said, "Heck yeah, they do." Um, and they gave me a little bit of insight on them as well. Uh, you can see this is more of the, the tougher side where they laid them in first. And then you can kind of see where they folded over right here. They weren't, weren't too too modest about it. And the paper, as you can see, is starting to come up on its own. Um, it's a little dry as well. And the toning uh, on here is a little bit more dark and grimy. Um, so this was kind of in a little bit of a dry dry space in my opinion. Um, and that's where we were kind of seeing a little, few of, the, of those dots on, on the coins, like these right here. Um, and so, uh, this screams original, and um, these, are, these are pretty, pretty cool. So, um, let me give you guys just a few more tips, and I'm really thankful and honored to show you guys all these. Once again, we're stopping off with uh, the roll that, you know, this is the side that they just put together, and this is the side that's tougher. You can see cause it's, it's really hard. It's probably how they were shipped to them. Um, and these were all uh, set aside um, basically um, originally how, how they were uh, put into the bank. And the, the story on these mainly is that uh, they were shipped to the banks and then they were rolled at the banks. And so when they, when they rolled them at the banks, you know, you had someone working there making a few bucks an hour if they're lucky, um, you know, throwing them into these rolls. And then uh, they start to they're starting to get they start to get beat up and stuff. Uh, but uh, if you want to know if this is original bank roll as well, you just flip it over on its side and it says Pittsburgh's branch of Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland, and uh, you know Johnson Fair Box uh, Company, Chicago Forty. So you can see that even uh, you know one side is tough, one side is not, and then when you flip it over, boom. But someone wrote sixty three p on these unk. Uh, and I think he wrote on this pretty pretty recently because he wanted to take these uh, take these down to the uh, take these down to the show and sell them off. But he's a pretty cool dealer, um, and yeah, this is these are pretty cool pieces of history right here. The last one though is my favorite roll I think. Um, so this one has some end of roll toning on it, and this is the one that kind of caught my eye here. Uh, not this side, but this side. And as you can see here, you can see this reddish, greenish, bullseye toning to it. Um, very unique. Uh, most of these coins like this, um, with this color, sell for, you know, if it's nice color underneath this when you take it out, it's probably a $150 coin. Uh, most of the time, 63 uh, Denvers or Philadelphia are, have hard times toning. So 
uh, this this uh, roll really drew me into the to the set, and that's why I bought the rest. But we're gonna give you a quick breakdown of what I paid and uh, what we sold them for. And so uh, we ended up buying these for two hundred fifty dollars a roll. And if we look up that based on melt, uh, we paid about seventy five dollars more over melt for these rolls. And someone's saying right now, you crazy guy, right? But when we took them home, I, I listed them for three fifty each. Uh, I came to an understanding with a few of my friends and a few of my uh, my buyers. They they paid me anywhere between three hundred twenty five to three hundred thirty five dollars a roll, and so that's almost double melt. So like I said, when you're at a show and you want to make some money, look for original bank rolls like these, and uh, you will do well for yourself. Um, and like I said, you're gonna kind of see this this tougher side on this side of the of the coin. And you're also going to kind of see the same level of toning. So this one has this nice end of roll toning to it. Uh, it's starting to fill in. And on this side, you're seeing the same type of consistency. So uh, I hope you guys understand um, that these are carrying a premium right now. Um, the grade that they can potentially have. Um, and just the history of it really blows people away. So I hope you guys gathered some cool information from these coins. And... Uh, Oh, there's a whole lot more to share, and I hope this treats these coins are be, being treated well uh, to our new customers, and I hope they find some really neat pieces. So, thank you guys for letting me show you these. Alrighty, guys, I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. These rolls were really cool. Like I said, I apologize for not being able to open them. Uh, we we wanted to uh, make sure we made a profit on them, um, but they were really unique pieces, and I hope uh, these customers find what they need. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And uh, I would also really appreciate your comment. Did you guys enjoy what I had to say? Um, did you guys learn something new today? Uh, please comment below. Uh, it means so much to the channel in terms of growth, but also so much to me that I get to respond and have a conversation with you guys. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. This has been Drew, and I'll see you in the next video.